righty, sit back, get yourself a snack because this is going to be a really long packed update and it's going to confuse you guys so much, but trust the process. Just trust the process. That's all I'm going to say at the beginning of this video. Just trust the process and listen. All right. So to start things off, maintenance is hard at work getting the rides ready um, at Canada's Wonderland. And I couldn't help but resist filming some of these really cool shots of maintenance high up in um, some pretty high areas on some of our large scale attractions working on getting them ready for the season Honestly, I'm envious of uh, these jobs. I could never do it. I would pass away just climbing the stairs to Leviathan. So um, I, I can't even imagine how fit some of these people are having to climb the staircases uh, of these attractions. Um, but yeah, so this is Windseeker. That was Leviathan. And then there was Flight Deck as well. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's update because the park, if you guys thought they spent a pretty penny last off season. Just wait till you see what they're spending a pretty penny on this off season. Anyways, let's get it off um, with uh, the footings. So uh, <laughs> you guys are probably not going to call them footings at this current state. And I don't blame you, but just trust the process. So as you see here, they're drilling um, about six to eight feet into the ground, these really large sections and installing a metal caisson. Um, so this is a caisson company. Um, they're installing these caissons and then they're reburying them um, in soil. So a lot of you might be like, well, we've never seen that before or that's not going to be a footing if they're reburying it. Well, trust me, um, what you're looking at is most likely a, a top hat section. Um, if I was to give you guys an element, um, there's most likely some sort of... Uh, coming out of the mound, hitting a top hat that then reconnects over by the sprite game area slash that little arcade building um, across from the new Tiny Toms and then heads back into the mound. So what you're seeing, yes, with the reburying, it doesn't make sense on paper. But if you watched Grace's interview on CP24, they are prepping a large space, a large space for a very large attraction that requires a lot of space. So it's it's a very big project um, that's requiring a lot of prep work um, in order to uh, finish this on time. So this is something they're just doing ahead of time. I don't really know how much time it saved them because, I mean, watching from the drone this day, uh, they got it done in 24 hours. So this drill is already out of the park. Um, they did what they needed to do. And um, yeah, so you'll see in tomorrow's update what they're going to do with these footings. But it's it was a really interesting thing to watch. Um, and I've never seen them rebury um, a small caisson before, before putting concrete in it or even rebar. So it was, it was really interesting. Um, but again, we're working at a park that has a really busy summer and a really busy Halloween haunt. Um, so a lot of the work is taking place inside the mountain. And we're going to talk about that a lot in today's video. There's a lot going on in there, a lot more than even I was fully aware of. I think they're a lot farther along in there than we thought. And at the end of the video, there's a really interesting tidbit of information I'm going to pass on to you guys. So hopefully you're paying attention um, to some of the things I'm talking about. Uh, so... Yes, so this area is significant, it had a lot of electrical laid down, um, and it has a lot of these really high enforced um, footings, and they're not done, by the way, This that's not how deep they're going to be, that couldn't be a footing, that could be a lamp post at best, uh, with its current depth. I've done a lot of talking and a lot of communicating about this, so um, they have a lot deeper to go. But the company that's going to actually do these caissons, it's the same company you see before you, are currently working on Moosehorn Falls. So this is prep work before that company heads on over. So this is one to three dudes that did all this in Elpin area. And I want to remind you guys, this is the only area of the park um, that is currently out in a guest pathway that they're going to have to work in. Um, that's significant. So a lot of the other parts of this ride take up other parts of the park that are they're able to work on during the season. Extreme Sky Flyer inside the mountain. The current area that they worked on a lot was underneath Vortex's Lift Hill and Guardian 
Um, so that's where a lot of the work's taken place. And if you look closely right now, you're going to see some really cool history come out of this mountain in a second, by the way. A real treat for you guys. Um, they're clearing out the mountain now. And they're clearing out the section around Vortex currently. So to paint a picture for you guys, a lot of the stuff that you see coming out of the, the mountain is stuff that's been stored around Thunder Run's exit, underneath Thunder Run's helix, not underneath, but beside it, um, blocking Tunnel 1 to Tunnel 3. Um, so that's what you're seeing get removed. Um, and again, all these little circular cutouts in the brickwork, by the way, did not receive these metal caissons. Not all of them got drilled down. So a little interesting tidbit. So I'm really curious to see soon how much work has taken place inside the park. Um, so because if I'm gathering some of my information correctly... Um, underneath Vortex and underneath Guardian, there should be footings complete and some restructuring that took place. And you're going to see some hints to that at the end of this video that I filmed today. Um, but outside of that, uh, nothing really has happened over in Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land. Nothing of significance to a coaster has happened in Elpin. Yes, this drill bit arrived. And yes, they're digging six to eight feet down. Um, which is a huge sign. These are not lamp posts. These are not electrical poles um, based off, but that is what one would jump to as a conclusion with these current caissons and the depth they went to because a footing for a coaster needs to be about 25 feet down, approximately 18 to 25, in most cases even deeper. Um, and we're not seeing that with this. So what I'm guessing, if I was to, ooh, this, sorry, I'm gonna have to pause that conversation because this is a huge thing um, happening before you. This is what um, has pointed out. So you see this guy that works for the Quezon company um, bringing these weird things out, and they're not gonna make sense to you. Um, I kind of didn't, it didn't make sense to me yesterday either, but then I took a guess. I'm like, they kind of look like greenhouses. They kind of look like a structure that someone would build to put on top of a footing um, to prevent water damage while it's drying. Uh, and to help its curing process. And that's exactly what you'll find out closer to the end or tomorrow's video. As you see there, Scooby-Doo's Haunted Mansion vehicles right there before you um, pulled out of the mountain. Thank goodness one of them was uncovered because that was so cool to see. Um, these uh, got moved over to Kingswood. And today was, sorry, yesterday because I upload them a day late, was the last day um, that they were clearing out the mountain. As you see here, Guardian's transfer track is heading over, but if you look closely, some new black structure pieces arrived as well. Um, so this is really interesting because this fits into the theory I've been um, making you guys aware of that there's been some restructuring going on underneath Vortex's lift hill and drop and Guardian's section as well. Um, so there's been a lot of restructuring going on I'm, if I had to take a wild guess, the restructuring was to um, maybe readjust some footings, readjust some structure for something to pass through in a very specific section of that mountain um, to help it head on over to Extreme Sky Flyer. Um, but yeah, that's just a little tidbit. Uh, we're going to have to explore that a lot further. But if if my math is mathing, that is exactly what is going to happen. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about, about those little greenhouse shaped things is, um, what I didn't realize is there's a construction site in that mountain. There's a, a little work area in there where they built those and they're going to bring them to a very specific section of the park that this caisson company is working on and they're going to start using them. So that's everything that I needed to know that there's a lot more work going on in the mountain than we had originally anticipated already. Um, so I could only imagine what the inside of the mountain looks like in a very specific section. Very curious. Oh, I can't wait um, to get in there um, and have a little explore. But outside of that, yeah, you're going to see them pull out like 12 of these things, if not more. And then they're going to be transported to a very specific section of the park that you'll see in tomorrow's construction update or on Patreon tonight. Here they are wheeling Scooby-Doo's Haunted Mansion vehicles away from the construction site and out of the mound towards Kingswood. It looks like Kingswood's going to be used as a temporary storage place until um, they decide to use Kingswood for further expansion. Again, this park has a serious expansion plan um, planned out for it. And you're going to see things change. You're going to see things just kind of happen out of nowhere. 
Um, you are going to see rides get removed out of nowhere too. Not everything's always going to be able to have a closing ceremony. Um, but outside of that, I'm really excited. Can't wait for you guys to see tomorrow's update where you see a lot more budget um, being spent this season in uh, enhancing the park. Again, you guys were impressed with last season. This season's even better. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Um, Hartwell's on site working on the electrical. Um, again, a lot of the electrical taking place in Thunder Run's old station. So that's really interesting. Really curious to see, um, again, where they decide to put this station. There's three possible places. I think most likely the mountain would make the most sense to me at this point. Um, other uh, interesting fact was these concrete trucks waiting to go inside the mountain um, as well through Tunnel 3. So definitely very curious um, what's forming in there. And here's that final footing they were working on before they pieced out. This is the very final one right in front of the sprite game. <coughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I just coughed in your guys' ear. But yeah, uh, again, I can't explain to you in full detail um, uh, nor knowledge why they are not just doing the footings right now outside of the team is working on Moosehorn. Um, safety concern, they can't leave these giant holes out um, and to cover all these different holes in a very active part of the park during a very active time of the season while they're getting ready would be super complicated. So I, I feel like they're filling them in with soil. Um, and you'll see a little bit further proof in tomorrow's update on why I'm not quite sure they're, they're going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, Moosehorn is well under construction, but there's been a whole other construction project added to this project. They're working on two water mains as well as electrical for this project. I thought that was already done. Um, so that's really interesting. And more buildings get demolished, by the way, in tomorrow's update. So just a little teaser. Uh, behemoth, right underneath the behemoth sign, they removed the curb and dug out a little tiny area. So really curious to see what that's going to be. Wondering if they're going to move the fast lane check right there to have the employees down there. But I, I think that's going to be up in the station. So we'll wait and see. Um, Extreme Skyflyer had a little trench digger um, equipment arrive. Uh, Backlot Cafe um, received a new name. So it's World Expo Eatery. Um, something like that. I totally slipped. I could just look on my phone, but I'm recording. Um, but yeah, so really interested to see what happens over the next couple of days. I do have a sneaky suspicion that over the next couple of week, th weeks, things might get a little boring until the park opens. So um, the next couple of three days are going to be very telling to me um, if things are going to get boring, but I have a feeling construction is moving into the mountain a lot more so they're building a lot more in the mountain and they're going to start cleaning up these outside sections so it might be a little difficult for the drone to catch things so these updates might get a little boring and i'll make some decisions then in the next couple of weeks before the park opens on what i'm going to do i do have a lot to talk about so i might switch to you know not daily construction updates and just start working on some videos explaining some of my ideas to you guys which i'm sure you'll be excited about as well um but yeah I'm pretty sure that's all I have for construction today. Again, this is the equipment that arrived for Guardian. Um, these uh, pieces are got lifted into the mountain along with the transfer track with Guardian. Um, and yeah, really excited. They are not the equipment for the um, bin system. It is separate equipment. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can see here they bring in the transfer track section right next to it. And... Yeah, again, I I can't wait to see the final project. Like, I cannot wait to see all of this envisioned into a ride. Like, you guys are seeing what Grace called in her CB24 interview, the pre-work to preparing a large space. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's, it's weird, I know, but it's requiring a lot of work because it's a large project. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.